In this video lecture, I will explain what is finite automata and types of finite automata. So what is finite automata? A finite automata is a mathematical model for study of abstract machine. So we say that it's a mathematical model for study of abstract machine or we can also say that abstract computing devices with discrete input and discrete outputs. So uh, finite automata we can say will have three components input file control unit and output. So these are the three components of finite automata. So what is a control unit? Control unit we say it will be the machine initially we will say the control unit or the machine will be in start state okay and we'll be having this input so we'll say this is input file and there will be output so these are the three components okay so control unit will be in start state based on the input symbol the state of the control unit may change so initially the machine or the control unit will be in start state and whatever input we give based on that the state of the machine will change and then output may be accept or reject so it may be accept or reject so when end of the input is encountered the control unit may be in accept or reject state so if it is an accept state we say that the input string is accepted by the machine and if the machine is in reject state or we say the control unit is uh, the in, in st reject state we will say that the input string is rejected by the machine okay and input will be input file uh, you can see here it is divided into cells so these are these are cells and each cell can hold one symbol so it can hold one symbol each cell can hold one symbol okay so in my previous video lecture i had already explained on and off switch right so off so machine has two states off and on state so you can think a control unit if i say my start state is off state so the control will uh, unit will be initially in off, uh, start state or we can say here off state and then we say based on the input given to it the state will change so what is input here input is push and here now i am in on state or we will say the machine is in on state then we are giving the input push again and the machine is going from on to off state okay so here the electric switch this is the example of electric switch which has two state off and on and to start with the switch will be in off state and uh, when the push button when we push the button it goes to on state okay and once again if we push the button it goes to off state again so this is how the finite automata will be represented now next is types of finite automata so what are the different uh, types of finite automata the three different there are three different types of finite automata so we have deterministic finite automata or we also call it dfa d is for deterministic finite f is for finite and a is for automata and second type is non deterministic finite automata non deterministic finite automata so nfa okay here fa is finite automata and then the third type of finite automata is non deterministic 
finite automata with epsilon this symbol we call it epsilon or we also call it null epsilon or null move or we also call it null nfa so these are the three types of finite automata okay now first is dfa dfa is deterministic finite automata so why the name dfa is given to it see when we talk about finite automata one thing is clear uh, the number of states are going to be finite okay and we say deterministic so that means i can determine the next move of the machine so in uh, i have just now explained like the machine will be initially in start state and then we will be giving some input to the machine and based on the input given to the machine it will change the state from one state to another state okay so uh, after giving the input we will be knowing what will be the next state so we can determine the next move of the machine so that's why we call it dfa or deterministic finite automata now non deterministic means if i give the machine is in some particular state and we are giving some input to it but we don't know machine is going i mean machine will be in which state it can be in more than one state so we cannot determine the next move of the machine so that's why we call it non deterministic finite automata and then third category is null nfa so here null move means without giving any input the machine can change the state from one state to another state so that's why we call it null nfa so first it will be non deterministic nfa with null move so that means i am not giving any input machine can go to the next state without giving any input and uh, the same uh, way like for non deterministic finite automata here also if i give some input to the machine it may be in more than one state so that's why it is non deterministic so let's take one uh, example so this is the pictorial representation i'm going to draw of dfa so this is how our dfa will look like okay so uh, here this circle is used to represent the state okay we are saying that machine will be in initial state or in some state so that means we are going to draw some states so the using circle we are going to draw the states and here uh, this arc arc means connecting one state to another state okay so this arc is nothing but uh, we will say the transition from one state to another state and then we are writing these symbols 0 and 1 so these are nothing but the inputs okay so here uh, when we write one circle that means it is a start state and when we write two circle it is final state okay so here uh, start state we will be representing like this so from this diagram uh, this q not is the start state and this q2 is the final state and anything other than start and final are intermediate state so this is start this is final and this is intermediate state so in my previous video lecture i explained the finite automata will be a directed graph a directed graph what is directed graph we we are going to have some nodes and uh, there will be some edges that edges will be nothing but they will be connecting the nodes so there will be direction involved means if i say these three circles are nothing but the nodes and this uh, q0 to q1 this arc is an edge so this arc is connecting q0 to q1 this arc is connecting q1 to q2 right same way if i have an edge from that node uh, like the starting and ending point is same we'll call it self loop so here if i say if i talk about this edge we'll say the starting point is q0 ending point is q1 same way for this edge uh, it is originating from q1 and it is ending at q2 but if i see this edge so this is starting and as well as ending at q0 so this is called as self loop okay same way this also is a self loop this also is a self loop so it is clear from this diagram that dfa is represented using circles arrows okay and arcs so dfa will be represented using circle arrows and arcs okay labeled with some digits this arcs will be labeled with it will be labeled with some 
digits we will say some digits and we are going to have some concentric circle so this concentric circle is nothing but this double circle and the circle were nothing but the state of the dfa these q0 q1 and q2 these are the states of the dfa and there are three states q0 q1 and q2 we can see here and an arrow uh, enters into start uh, state q0 and is not originating from any state and so it is a uh, quite different from other state and is called the start state or the initial state and the state q2 has two concentric circle and it's also a special state that is called as final state or we also call it accepting state final state or accepting state and in this dfa there is only one final state so based on the language accepted by the dfa there can be more than one final state so this final state it at least one final state will be having but we can have more than one final state also and the states other than the start and final are nothing but the intermediate state and uh, here machine will be initially in the start state it is clear from this diagram that the machine is in start state and after accepting the symbol 0 it stays in this state only and if I give input 1 to it it goes to q1 and when machine is in q1 state if I give input 0 it stays in this state only and when I give input 1 it is going to final state so we will say we will say that this input I mean if I say 1 1 is accepted by the machine okay so whenever the machine enters from one state to another state we say that there is a transition from one state to another state so that means if I say from q0 to q1 what is the transition for input 1 if I give input 1 to state q0 there is a transition from q0 to q1 okay so there is a transition from q0 to q1 on input symbol 1 and in state q1 an input symbol 0 the machine is going to stay here for one it is going to stay i mean going to q2 same way if i am in q2 and if i am giving i input 0 or 1 we will be in will stay in q2 only okay so the machine stays in q2 only so here we will say uh, the number of states for this machine uh, the number of there are three states q0 q1 and q2 so these are the three state and we represent it by capital Q. So capital Q is nothing but the set of states for the machine and there is a symbol sigma that is used to represent the input alphabet. So you can see here two symbols 0 and 1 are used. So 0 and 1 are the input alphabets. So hope the concept is clear to you. Thanks for watching.